That's the current leader. He'll be at least number two in the United States, and he does a triple axle as well. Let's see if he can do it. And uh, he doesn't have to do it because he's in first place. I'm sure he'll leave it in, however. Johnny starts his program the same way Brian Orser did with a triple Lutz, and the same way Brian Orser did, he had no difficulty with it. Brian's very young. He just celebrated his 19th birthday, and he's never had a major international win, so he'll be skating hard to be on top here at Skate Canada. combination with a triple flip jump into a double toe. Here's a double axle. That's two and a half revolutions. Now shortly, about 30 seconds, he will do the same jump except with an extra revolution in it. His coach, Linda Leavers, has used some pretty clever co choreography in his program. He used the beginning of that slow part to build up to this triple axle coming here. Oh, a two-foot landing on that. That will hurt him. It was not as clean as Brian Orser's. And I will be interested to see how many judges will deduct for that error. You have now just seen, for the first time in skating history, two triple axles landed in an international competition. Remember when Vern Taylor did the first one in 78 in the Worlds in Ottawa, and they had to come to our truck to take a look at it in slow motion to see whether or not he had actually landed a triple axle, and they agreed with the world president, Jacques Favard, judging that he had indeed done so. for Brian Boitano. Two years ago, he was fifth in Skate Canada. Today, he's leading. One thing about Brian, he has incredible spring on the takeoffs of his triple jumps. And this enables him to do triple jumps very late in the program, which is a great asset to him. triples at the end of his program. The stamina is tremendous. Into a big flying sit spin. And he still has a number of moves left here. Watch he's traveling threes into an Arabian. Brian has another double axle planned here, and he, oh, he missed that one. That'll hurt him. Brian Boitano from the United States. And while we wait for his first slow motion to come up, let me remind you that tomorrow night, CTV crowns Miss Canada 1983. Join us for the suspense and excitement in this glitter-filled special. It's a television event for the whole family. 
Jim Perry and Dominique Dufour host tomorrow evening here on CTV. Okay, now we're having a look at Brian Poitano's tuck axle. Jumps up forward, tucks the left leg and in down in there. It's only a one and a half revolution jump. And although he did many triples, that's one of the more effective moves in his program. That just shows you that you really don't have to do a triple axle to have an, a very unusual jump. To use a single axle the way Brian did with that tuck is really something else, such as this de death drop as well. Look at He doesn't need all the rotation. It's just a nice drop into a back sit spin, and as soon as he lands on the ice, he has full control of it as he comes out of it now. Question now is, can uh, Brian Orser move up on him? I have a feeling that it's not going to close Let's enough. Well, let's have another look at that triple axle and watch on the landing. He did touch his free leg down. You can barely see it. He just put his toe in. Let's see what the judges think about it. Well, the marks now for technical merit are Brian Boitano, two five sevens, a five five. A 5'8", two 5'7's and a 5'5". Five five. Those two 5'5's five fives might hurt. The people are booing that a little bit. For artistic now impression. for artistic impression, which may not be quite as high as his technical merit because he had a lot of content in there, a lot of difficulty judge in there. One, five, four, and six, we have five, six, two, five, eight, five, eight, five, 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 eight, five, 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 and a five, five three. Five, and that's from the five, judge from Great Britain. But the judge from Great Britain, to his credit, is the marking everybody low. We should point that out. Brian Boitano from the United States.